into oodles of noodles in adapted PE. Today, we're gonna look at ways you can take your noodles and use them to make adapted uh, equipment. Okay, so today, first, what we're making taking is the ramp. All right, what I love about the ramp is so easy to make that I actually have my students make it themselves too. So that way, if they're home, they can make their own ramps and learn how to do it. We actually had a session in our family night to how to make adapted equipment so they can go home and make it for their own children, okay? So this is actually a ramp for a very small ball, all right? And we're gonna show you how to make a ramp for a larger ball. And it's quite simple. You just take your noodles, two large noodles, all right? And you cut them in half. And then you put two other noodles to the ends, but the inner part of the ramp. And that'll make your small thing. So if you're playing bocce or using a yarn ball or even bean bags, um, they're perfect, all right? Now, so what we do is we take our four noodles. I like to try to find orange noodles if I can, but you know, we don't get picky. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is line them all up. I'm gonna take my two extra noodles and put them off to the side. And I'm going to try to line them up as good as I can. And then I'm gonna try to take the tape. I kind of pre-cut my tape so that way it's easier. And I squeeze them together and I make a ramp. All right, and then I take another tape, I put it on the other side. Now what I try to do is I try to get it that it goes into the grooves, all right? And when it goes into the grooves, okay, it's easier and it doesn't get stuck on equipment, okay? So now, and if you ever run out of tape, you can always ask your maintenance, which I just got a great maintenance guy who just gave me my tape, all right? Which I did this morning. <laughs> and then I found my tape. Okay, so if you have your tape, all right, and then I wanna do the opposite side. So bring them again together. Okay, try to get in the grooves and bring them around. Right, here's my other pre-cut one. Now, depending on how sturdy you want it and how much your kids are gonna pull it apart, all right, you might want to put a couple of extra just for reinforcements. You don't have to really do the middle, okay, unless you're doing a long one, you know, with the long noodles, all right? Then you should do the middle, or at least do a couple of times, and I'll show you one of my finished products. Okay, now, depending on the size of your noodle, okay, now this would be your first small ball. I would put it between, now I have five across, and I put it between two, one and two, and four and five. That would be a small ball, all right? If I want a larger ball, which now I wanna take my tape, and you're going to put it on the outer, okay? So it's really much easier if you take your tape and do one at a time, on this side, okay. All right, line it up. Put it all the way on the outside. Okay, flip it around. All right, now I don't, I have one more piece of tape that I pre-did. Okay. And depending on, again, your students, Okay, if you have students who like to bite things and take a chunk, eating their breakfast, okay, then I would cover the one whole, the sides, all right? I would go all the way and cover all the noodle at the end. So no one likes to go, ah, and take a chunk out of it. All right, so after I have done that, what I would like to do is, that's not totally secure. So what I'm gonna do, Oh, I always love finding the end part of the tape, don't you? Okay, so then what I would do is take it. Now this is just dollar store tape, dollar store noodles. 
okay, is I would go around, again, putting it into, flip it around, squeeze it, and I would just do it a few times. Now what's fun about this one is that you can do all sorts of things to connect stuff, okay? And after I've done that a few times, I can flip it around, do this one a few times. Now, while you're waiting for me to see, and if you have a good view, you can see some of the things, and I'm gonna go over those too in this video, is different things that you can do with your noodles. Okay, so here it is. All right, here. So, if you're doing it with a small ball, okay, and it can go off, all right? And if you're doing it with a playground ball or whatever, and it's cool. Yay! All right, and what's great is that they can, if they're just going to push, just like they do down a ramp of a bowling and all, so there's so many ways you can use this. I like also to make a fun, another fun game out of it, and I have some of them that just have a tape of one noodle in an arch. So that way, I have one student here with it on their lap, and I have another student over there with it on their lap. And it also could be on a table, all right, if you have an ambulatory kid, or if it is can go on your wheelchair lap or tray, all right? And it's great because I can go like this, and then they can roll it back to me. All right, so how cool is that little game? You can take your noodle, all right, and you can use, I know some of you have mentioned it on PE Central, an adapted PE specialist. Take your racket and it just slides right into here, okay? And then it goes around the head of the wheelchair and now if the student can hit it like this or we can set it up on their lap and facing upward and I can toss the little mini beach ball and they can hit the racket. So here's a great way to hold an implement. You can put a little bat in it or whatever, okay? We, I found one that actually had a shark and also we play shark tag, all right? But you also can do where you're just playing noodle tag, right? And my great friend, Tracy Charlotte puts a, a hand um, mitten or glove on it, so they're touching, because some students can't differentiate between the, your their hand being it and another hand. So she uses the glove to put it on. We also can use it as implements, whether we're doing batting. Now here's a fat bat. That is, let's see, two, four, five noodles around a bat, and now we have become a fat bat. Or you can use a PVC pipe. Now this is what, this is like a pillow stick, all right, if you don't have pillow sticks. Like I said, you can, if you want it fatter, just add a few more and put duct tape around it, and now this becomes a hockey stick, all right? I've had students who also, whoop, have used the hockey stick. Let me find it. Let me see. Oh, where did it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, now we have had students that actually have taken the not hockey stick and shoved it into their things. And you can see over in our picture here, they use it like a hockey stick when we're playing floor, floor hockey, scooter hockey, and it keeps it protected. And you can put some um, duct tape around it too to keep it on. All right, I have this one like this because then if I want to make it longer, I can actually put it where the whole stick is on it, all right? And I can make a longer reach for a student. All right, we also can do the lightsabers, all right? Or if you're doing fencing for an Olympic game, all right? I love having these noodles, okay? I cut off the end of the noodle so it sits on the, um, on the thing and then on the table or their wheelchair. And what I've done is you just shove it in, the poodle connector, 
And now you bring it over here to another poodle, poodle, uh, noodle connector. Okay, and I put it on their tray where they've passed it back and forth. And this was their volleyball net. All right, this was to get a balloon through. All right, so they played volleyball. I actually attached the, ball, the, the balloon to a string and I had it right in here where I threw it back and forth. All right, I have taken um, the horseshoes, the indoor horseshoe set. And what I've done is just say the horseshoe. All right, I have a horseshoe pot here with the pole sticking up. All of a sudden, you put your noodle on, right? Attach a string with a balloon, and now you have a tether ball set that two people in a wheelchair are on a table. Someone in a wheelchair could play an ambulatory child and play tether ball, all right? And it's a balloon, one of those punch ball balloons, a regular balloon. Awesome, awesome ideas. Okay, another thing is you can take I know a lot of people have been using these circles when you make them into a circle and you put the tape here. I actually connect it with cardboard, okay? And then I put it in here so it's kind of like put together. These are wonderful for ring tosses. They're wonderful for putting the big giant ball on it and then doing, wow, I got a drumstick on my ball. All right, if you make these small enough, you can keep a ball right on the wheelchair. All right, it's kind of like a deck ring, okay? You could play, uh, who is it? Um, Lynn Sheffield's, um, was it soccer game that has all the deck rings? Well, look, now you've got a big deck ring that you can use with a noodle and, and passing it through. But also what I've done with my, is I've made other games out of it. When we're doing lifeguarding games or problem solving games like crossing the river, Okay, we have some of our students who are in their wheelchairs, all right, but they can't do the mat or the stepping stones like our ambulatory students. So what do we do? We throw them the lifesaver, all right? And we throw them a lifesaver and then we pull them across the river and all. How cool is that? And the, and the kids think it's wonderful, okay? We also play a life savings game where some of the kids are on the wheelchairs or in their scooters and we have the lifesaver. All right, another thing is when we're doing superheroes, Wonder Woman, all right, here is the power cord. It is a parachute cord in the dollar store. I got it in gold, I wrapped it in gold, and now it becomes the truth of, la the lasso of truth, the lasso of truth, all right? And this was part of our superhero games where we had to ring toss the lasso of truth. Okay, um, or, you could play it on a scooters and your wheelchairs and you can lasso a person, right? Make it twice as big and you can lasso a person and then they have to tell you something that's truthful about themselves, okay? Or figuring out if it is the truth, All right? So it's a great, great, great game. Okay, again, a few of my different type of things. What I have done, <laughs> excuse me, is I have a cart, okay, that is strictly noodles. It's one of my ball carts that kind of fell apart with the heavy weights years after years. So it's about a 40 year old cart. And also what was good was I can put plain noodles on there so we can adapt and do a little bit of our, um, our MacGyver type stuff. Also, you can take the circle put it on two and play Quidditch. Or you can use it as a football throw. All right, you can use it as a target, anything that you want. And how cool is that? All right, so another thing that we use is we put this around our wheelchair and we bring it out. And now it becomes, nope, it's not a magnet. It's not an electrifier. We can use it for Hmm, tag, they have to tag someone. But we also use it where a ball goes in between these things and they can push it all around the gym. And all we did was make a circle to connect 
the noodles here. Connect the noodles up here. So it's one noodle here, one noodle here. A noodle long, a noodles, um, short. And then two noodles for the prongs. I just knocked over my affirmations. Okay, another, we have different ones that we have used. We call these our jambonis, okay? Again, two on the side, connecting all the way up at the top, two on the bottom that go all the way down, and one that goes across. So the ball could either be inside, dribbling it down the, the court, or it could be pushed, like in soccer, okay? And I have one more. So for those heavier balls, we put it on two. Or if they want to carry a few balls, right, they can put in a few of the balls, scoop them up and put them on, and then they can carry them through the games if you have to. And if you need to, put a net over this, all right? And now it, it's a carry-on, all right? If you want to make it shorter and make the carry-on be up here, you can do that. So lots and lots of great ways 